Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Aquarian Sun, Moon and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. It is the month of September. As you Aquarians out there, I want to say thank you for your support, your likes and shares. Please like and share these videos and thumbs up if this is your new first time. Welcome and congratulations that you are by us. Please subscribe and stay with us. Okay, this month of September is the month of the Wheel of Fortune. It's going to be a fire month. It's going to be a wonderful month, especially for your Aquarians. There is a lot of stuff that is going to be happening. And this is going to be a wonderful month. This month is going to be a month of four weeks. Last year, we had five weeks in a month of September and this uh, September and this is it the energy vibration in this year is so changing because in this month we are going to have uh, the energy of four weeks which is just so wonderful so positive so for you Aquarians um, this month and not only you Aquarians this month has the energy vibration of fire but we have earth and also hair so for you Aquarians you air sign people the last part of the month is going to be a much positive than the first part but there's nothing really wrong it's just that the first part has balance there's a lot of balances that is going to come in I can see already that the energy vibration of you guys are in the second week so um there is going to be a, a, a lot of balances and a lot of um, good situation that is going to come for it. I see here the five of cups in the first week, whatever. So what is your focus? Your focus, you have the energy vibration of the four of cups in this month of September. Okay, it's... Um, because of the lightning I have to use my glasses so we have the energy of the four of cups coming in I love this card um, set and by the way I'm using um, this card set is the Dreamway Tara set the Dreamway Tara set it's, in, it's a new I, I don't know how is if, if, if this is a new for myself so I am loving this so I'm using it for September because you had the energy of September is a wheel of fortune so okay your focus for you um, Aquarians is going to be the four of cups whatever the energy vibration of the four of cups is it's going to be looking back because there you are looking back on, at what you have still standing and uh, you are about to change your life in the month of September. So whatever is going on for you, Aquarians, you're about to change your life in the month of September, okay? So you have the energy of the Four of Cups. This will be your focus for the month of September. So you're looking back at what has happened in your life and looking forward to where you're going. So that is going to be your focus for the month of September. As we look in September, we have the energy vibration of the, um, um, there's so much energy that is going on here for you guys. There's a lot of stuff that is going on, but let's see what other messages would like to come out in the first week. Ooh, that's good. What other message in the second week? What other message in the third week? What other message in the fourth week for the Aquarians? Oh my God, it's going to be wonderful. Whatever is happening to you Aquarians, it's, it's really going to be wonderful. Okay, let's look because we have a, a lot of numbers here let's look what is happening we have the energy vibration of tick tock tick tock in the in the first first week for you Aquarians the energy of tick tock tick tock meaning that something is about to explode okay so whatever the situation is in the first week and you feel like exploding you need to control this okay and um, the other energy that we have is a five of cups the energy of the five of cups so remember that your focus in this month is going to be the four of cups you looking back and trying to plan your way and your situation forward you have the energy of the five of cups the five of cups is the energy vibration of uh, you know you have lost three cups and you still have two cups so you are going to work with those two cups okay you're going to work with those two cups but it's going to be wonderful because by working with those two cups the world everything that you need success the end of situations are going to be happening in your life and new beginnings are going to be happening so you losing those three um, cups which is emotional you have had emotional loss with things 
places and people you have had emotional loss with things people places and you have only two left and that is uh, yourself the emotional side of yourself and emotional um, strength of going on and if you use uh, those two cups that you have of yourself and uh, of uh, the part to push on and move through this energy you're going to end up with the energy of the world which is extremely extremely good so this is going to be a wonderful 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 energy for you guys okay it's going to be an extremely wonderful wonderful energy so whatever is happening in the first week and you feel like blowing your top don't do it you know think in the second week we have the energy of the time for a nap this is the energy the time for a nap whatever the energy is it's time for a nap so you need to um, take the second week very slow and very relaxing whatever the energy is you need to take the second week very slow and very relaxing by doing that this is going to affect the women so whatever is happening because some people can especially people who are still um, um, not at the point of menopause sometimes you need to rest also for people who are in menopause it's going to be a week that you feel extremely tired you need to take some rest okay um, it's gonna be a week of really in a um, you know being still and connect with yourself uh, you know connecting with the inner side of who you are you came back again the queen of swords so whatever is happening this yes I'm sorry guys but I'm trying out these cards so uh, please don't say don't use them again I'm just trying them out we have Kali so this is good and why this is good because as I've said to people I keep on getting doubles and really and truly I will wait until I'm rolling I'm flaming and rolling and here we are having the energy of the Queen of Swords twice so for some people it's going to be positive it's going to be positive for you women you queen of swords um, you Aquarian women some people it's going to be extremely positive you know but you need to have rest and some people it's going to find the the energy of a lower energy vibration that you're just going to try to you know stab people and do all these negative things to people be aware of what you guys are doing okay um, you know and, and and this is what I've always said to people it depends on what energy vibration you're carrying and this is a very positive way of explaining what I mean about the energy vibration because obviously this queen here is carrying a positive energy vibration she's looking at things she's trying to plan it is a month of looking looking at your arm um, where you are and a month of planning and you guys are are really really the queen of swords and you're gutting someone and you're being you know this is what I mean so choose whatever energy vibration you women want to carry for the men it's gonna be a fantastic time um, it's gonna be a wonderful time some of you are going to feel very tired take some rest but for the women oh my gosh girls ladies and gentlemen girls be careful in the second week as we look at the third week we have between worlds and because you Aquarians are psychic people sometimes you will feel as if you're in between worlds sometimes you you are not sure of if you're awake or you're still sleeping because you're connected with a spirit world because you um, most psychics are always Aquarian Pisces or, or Capricorn people that sort of energy because uh, we work with uh, the two worlds we sometimes we can um, in between worlds so whatever the situation is that, that can be affecting you you have the knight of swords and this is going the in between words is going to affect the people between the ages of 18 and 35 okay whatever is happening is going to affect the men between the ages of 18 and 25 that you're feeling as if you are vibrating on two energy vibration that you're feeling as if uh, you're here but yet still half of you is in another space in another time line and this this is true this 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 is this is really saying exactly what I am channeling it's as if you feel as if uh, you're in a different um, timeline a different group a, a different um, it's as if 
um, you're working with the spirit world and 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 you're working in uh, you're walking on the hurt but yet still you are working with the spirit world okay and this is going to affect the, the people between the ages of 18 and 35 and why it's because you are more younger and more open up you just came in on this planet for the older people it's going to be a little bit harder because uh, your energy vibration is a bit sluggish uh, so you need to change but this is what is happening a passage of a uh, six uh, six of swords so this is good because you're are working on two dimension and you're switching in and out for the people between the ages of 18 and 35 and you will feel that way all right in the third week okay as we look at the fourth week it is a wonderful positive week I can see that already um, because we are having um, wonderful wonderful um, situations that is happening so um, yeah <laughs> and I know my expression always I, I, I can't had my 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 feelings and my expressions always on my face I'm sorry someone really um, sent me a message about that okay treasure island in the fourth week you Aquarius um, receive the energy of treasure island and the energy of treasure island is that you finally find how it's as if you mark the spot an X it's as if you have begin something and you realize oh my god this is where my um, my power this is where my power is this is who I am oh my god so you're really finding yourself and by finding yourself and finding that you have this potential this gift you have found a treasure island within yourself and this is wonderful so money you're going to learn to make money in the fourth week for a lot of people money is as if this is going to open up to you you have the energy of the hierophant and energy of the hierophant somehow an organization is going to see you and pick you up and go with you because they realize that you have potential in something and this is you are going to make money just like a box and box box and box slips and snippers and you are going to be victorious so whatever that has been happening to you guys whatever is happening is that in the four weeks is as if an organization is going to find you pick you up and it, they're going to run with you and what I mean run with you I mean that they're really going to see that you have a potential with certain things and they they're going to ask you uh, to come and work for them and you are going to make a lot of money because it's as if your power lies within something that you found out you done you, you can do very well and they're going to ask you to come and connect with them and work with them and this is going to be wonderful because you have the energy vibration of victory and success so congratulations you guys out there the fourth week is going to be wonderful so congratulations okay um we have, uh, you know I'm always changing up the reading so here we go we are going to look at what is here for love we're using the vortex what is here for love we're really using the vortex to see for the Aquarians what is here for love your card fell out you Aquarians what is the energy and the vortex is here for love what does the vortex have to say to you about love that which is like on itself is dawn okay so it's the number two energy so let's see what it's saying everything that you perceive is vibrational and the life you are living in your vibrational interpretation the powerful law of attraction is at the root of everything you experience okay and the never challenging always accurately perceive of the law is that which is like itself its dawn when you give thoughts to something you bring the attraction process of this essence of the subject into your life and experience once you have activated a thought vibrational within yourself by giving attention to the subject 
the process of the expansions occur so this is wonderful because what you're seeing here with the energy of love what is happening in this month for you guys is that you're working on yourself it's a first yourself because the energy of love is here but yet still is the energy of love where you're working on yourself so are we going to meet someone we're going to connect with where our, our spirit guides because you people are very spiritual okay so it's all going to be that you're working um, on um, a level of connecting because that which is like Onto itself is a draw is drawn so you're going to try and work and draw in that which you want to work with and you want to connect to it in this month and this is going to be extremely positive and good for you guys okay so the energy of you women is going to be very strong very promising you Aquarian women are going to find ways and means of uh, extracting and whatever is happening is as if um, the world is going to the energies of the world is going to help you and you're going to see positive outcomes coming in your life okay let's see what the Aquarius the ascendance master we have the energy of Saint Illyrian and we have Serasma Bay Okay, okay, the, you guys are the first one to get the energy vibration of two. Okay, Saint Illyrian is from the planet of Saturn, and step down is energy through the temple of truth over creating. He is navigating the earth on the council of Saturn and helping us to, remem to remain connected to this, our spiritual journey. A master of the orange ray, so you know, Saint Illyrian and um, Archangel Metatron works with the orange ray. So, again, as a master of the orange ray, the orange fifth ray of technology, science, truth, and knowledge, he invites you to open up your mind so that he can drop the seeds for new ideas into your consciousness he access those who are ready to become higher channels and um, clairvoyance okay your guidance is to sit quiet and ask him to help you to be all that you can not everyone is a channeler or a, a, a psychic person or a clairvoyance. Not everyone is um, that. What you can do is your guidance is to sit quietly and ask him to help you be all that you can. So this is what you said as affirmation. Before you go to bed, I am or I open myself to the wisdom and guidance of St. Illyrian. I open myself to the wisdom and guidance and of Saint Illyrian. I open myself to the wisdom and guidance of Saint Illyrian. It is so and it will be. The next uh, um, ascendance master who comes out or who some people would be working with is because uh, he came out because he wanted to make sure that you Aquarians know that you be working with Serasmus Bay. And I love Serasmus Bay. I love St. Liren. He's uh, Serasmus Bay and St. Liren. These are um, really positive, positive. Um, um, and, and, and all the ascendant masters are positive, but they, they help you. One, help you to remember your inner wisdom. Serasmus Bay was the keeper of the white ascension flame in Atlantis and is now the Cohen of the fourth ray of harmony okay so remember fourth ray is the ray of harmony he is no he's known as the Egyptian because he works with the archangel Metatron and Centilirian also to serve to sir use the great pyramids with the cosmic so they connect the great pyramids with the cosmic okay 
wisdom energy at the time of its construction so remember the pyramids everyone was trying to figure out how the pyramids were built yeah it was built through progression of the mind okay because those stones was just too heavy so you would have a group of people who use the progression of your mind because remember that these ascendants masters are beam from other universal um, um, that came here to help to build the planet of heart and this is why we have these very um, unbelievable things that are on earth which is uh, we can't um, understand beyond our imagination how the pyramids were built okay in drawing this cards, you are inviting to stand within the white flame and feel its influence connecting with Serasmus Bay and draw his energy of wisdom, cooperation, and dedication to you. He is the only master to work with the, Ser the, the, the Seraphimi angels, and they will shower you with blessings as you tune in to this ascension card so as you said I walk with Serasmus Bay you can also call upon the Seraphimi angels to stand in your aura and to heal you and guide you towards your day so you know in the morning as you wake up you take a shower it's good to take a shower in the morning people before we go to work it's a good thing it energizes actually okay and we sleep in the night we sweat and our soul goes to different places even if you don't sweat it's nice to have a nice fresh shower in the morning before you go to work okay so after you do that you can call upon the angels and said I walk with Serasmus Bay or if you call upon the Seraphimi angels to stand with you and um, the old day okay and connect so this is a wonderful energy and a wonderful message for you guys okay so it's all about you healing yourself. It's not going to be a month of uh, um, connecting with other people. It's all about you. You have the world and you have victory and success. You have the world and you have victory and success. Whoever were 18 and that sort of a thing, it's all over, girlfriend, because at the end of the, 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 the month, you are going to have your final treasure island, money, money, money. An organization is going to find you pick you up you're going to be victorious and successful you're going to be on the streak of uh, um, the good streak in your life so it's all about you in the month of September okay we're moving forward to find out about the Sun moon and rising let's see what's happening um, for the sun moon and rising aquarians oh my gosh what will be happening for the sun sign of the aquarians what will be the planet working with the lunar sign for the aquarians in september i see mercury coming back up and venus okay all right let's see what is happening for you aquarian sun sign who you have to work with and let's see what's happening with you Aquarians moon sign who you're going to be working with okay so here we go the Sun sign these are people who were born um, 6 a.m. in the morning and um, between the, eight, the time of 6 a.m. in the morning and 6 p.m. in the evening you are a Sun sign so let's see what's happening you have the planets of Venus so love it's gonna be a month of love and as I said there was no falling in love there's love that is gonna come in your life you're going to learn to love yourself again if you're looking for a relationship the opening is going to be there but it's it's, your focus is more on yourself in this month and remember you Aquarians I did say that the year 2000 and 17 it was going to be a year that you think only of yourself you have placed love in another part of your sector but for the people who are looking for relationships and on is going to meet Leo's so you um, you sun sign people are going to meet the Leos in love and the Gemini okay so the Gemini's I can understand because they carry the energy vibration of love so for um, you sun sign people you are going to be working with um, 
the Leos and the Gemini in relationships so if you're having relationships with a Leo and a Gemini it's going to be a positive one yet still you're going to be more focusing on yourself and on your career but these are the men or women that is going to come in your life in the form of a intimate love relationship marriage and that sort of a thing okay As we move on, we have the energy for the lunar people who are the lunar people. These are people who were born between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. in the morning. So you are a night person, you're a lunar person. You will be working with Mercury. Uh, yeah, Mercury, Mercurius. Mercurius and Mercurius um, this is wonderful that you're going to be working with Mercurius because this is bringing magic in your life you're going to be aware of how you can bring magic in your life so for your moon people um, you're going to be connected with the Taurus and the Cancers the Taurus and the Cancers um, to bring in they're going to teach you how you can manifest okay these Taurus and Cancers are going to teach you how you can manifest because you know you you connect with the spirit world but yet still you need to learn how you can manifest on this planet so this is going to be positive so whatever the situation is that is happening for you Aquarians it's going to be wonderful because you're going to be learning how to manifest certain things in your life so this is going to be positive okay so um, ladies and gentlemen boys and girls I want to say to you that not all the time that you can focus on other people you need to start focusing on yourself by focusing on yourself you bring the magic and love in your life this is going to be a wonderful month even though you have the energy of the four of cups fours is always building on your own emotion so it's a month of building on your own emotion you have the energy of the four of cups so this is going to be extremely positive so ladies and gentlemen I want to say to you guys um, I'm sending love and light to you. Please remember to listen to the general reading and your sun, moon, and, ri moon and rising sign. We have four weeks in this month, and namaste until next month.